In Creo Parametric 12, the sheet metal join command has been enhanced to allow you to select two non-intersecting walls. To talk about how this has changed, it helps to take a look at how the join command worked in Creo Parametric 11 and earlier versions. Here I am in a sheet metal part. You can see that we have some intersecting walls in this model. If I take a look at the bottom of the computer screen, I can see that I have two different separate volumes within the same body. Let's try to join these two. I will click on the join command, and then we are prompted to select the surfaces that we want to connect. I will select this surface and then hold down the control key and select this other surface. And then I can flip the arrows depending on how I want this to be joined. I can change the bend radius. Let's change to a value of 10. And I can also do things like go to the options tab and turn off the option to trim non-intersecting geometry. And so this is how the command worked in Creo Parametric 11 and earlier. Let me get rid of that feature that I just created. And I'm going to suppress this particular wall. Let me click on it and then use the suppress command from the mini toolbar. I'm gonna to bring back a, another wall in the model. And this one does not intersect my first wall. But again, if we take a look at the bottom of the computer screen, we have two separate volumes within this body. So now let's try to join these. I will click on the join command and I will pick the first surface that I want to join. And then I'll hold down the control key and select the other surface. And right now it does know how to join these. In the placement tab, there is a new collector for the edges that you want to extend. This did not previously appear in Creo Parametric 11 and earlier. And as a matter of fact, you can see that there's a little blue triangle indicating that this is new. This is an enhancement to Creo 12. So let me click in the collector and I will select one of the edges here. And now we can see how the wall extends. And like before, we can play around with the different values that we are using in here. Let me use a value of 10 for the radius. And again, I can go to the options tab and I can turn off the trim non-intersecting geometry. And so that's a basic look at the enhancement, but let's take a look at another situation. I'm gonna switch over to a different part model. And here we have, again, a sheet metal part with two distinct volumes. We have our first volume and then our second volume. And so now let's try to join these together. I will click on the join command. And then once again, we will select the walls that we want to join. So I'll select this wall, hold down the control key and select the other wall. And once again, it does know what we want to join. And in this situation, we can actually select multiple groups of edges to connect. You can either click in the collector. You can also hold down the right mouse button to activate the extend edges collector from the graphics area. And then I can choose say this edge and then I will hold down the control key. In this situation, I have to select two edges in order to join them. You can see that because we have a trapezoidal wall down at the bottom, we end up with angled sides. And I can hold down the control key again and select multiple other different edges. Let's select these. And so it joins that as well. And let's hold down control again and grab a couple more different edges. And so there you can see how they are joined together. There's also a new extension method here. Again, you can see the little blue triangle indicating that this is a new option added to the tool. And so for the extension method, the default value is along the boundary edges. That's why we get the angled side along here but we can change this to normal to the selected edges, and that way we get it going straight in the middle. 
And so that's good. I will hit the check mark in order to complete that. Oh wait, there's one thing I want to change. I always like to have a bigger radius in there. So let's change this to a value of 10 and then hit the middle mouse button to complete the feature. And so there you can see how the new functionality in the sheet metal join command gives you additional flexibility when you are trying to create the geometry that you want in a sheet metal part.